Alrighty, welcome to the Extra Charge. Yeah, man. This is the On Our Phones podcast. My name is Jaden Shepard. You're Ben Myers. Yeah, what's up, dude? The one thing that we didn't Whoa. mention, we mentioned Whoa. it briefly before, Elon Musk has uh, brought Twitter. I was going to get into this. Do we have anything fun? So, not- I don't want to speak about him. I don't really even know much about him, but I don't want to speak about him. I want to speak about something else. I know we've done PayPal. I know we've done Tesla. I know we've done uh, oh, I SpaceX. Didn't... I know we've done Boring Company. I know we've done fucking... Bought was Twitter. that the name of it? Boring Company? Yeah, I don't know what they do. Even I think he made a flamethrower and a cap and that was it. Okay. No, I don't want to speak about him as a person, but he has an idea. Um, so, I know you're not big on Twitter. He has a vision. Yeah. You're not big on Twitter to begin with. Well, ever since before Elon Musk bought it, now I'm huge on Twitter. Oh, you've changed. Well, I'm on Twitter. But now, he, I'm a, even, now I'm a social. Even he doesn't know. Like, he... um. In six days, he's tweeted uh, that he's changed his mind about certain things. Oh, shit. Which are? Uh, well, uh, six days ago, he said comedy is here on Twitter now. Oh, shit. Comedy is acceptable. He did, yeah. Today, he tweeted um, anyone who is doing accounts um, with different names other than themselves will be banned. Different names. Okay, so th- this is oh, the reason. So it's a gag. A gag. But, so yeah, here's because the he's problem. worried about bot accounts or whatever the fuck. He's worried about fake no, accounts. He's, no. So what happened is, on Twitter, the whole reason that you would have verified accounts is to make sure that, like, it's truly the person oh, who I, says I, it I, I know you're talking. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yes. Because he says the blue check system or the verified system is just bullshit. Like, well, that's what he something. claims. And I think he's trying to get just people away from that and being like, why would people pay? But I also do understand that that may encourage more fake accounts. Yes, because he's now saying that, from now on, anyone who buys a blue tick yeah. will not have to be verified. And then people thought, well, hang on a second. If you don't have to be verified, I already have a blue tick account. I'll you do. Cha- you no, do. no, this person, uh, whatever it is. I was going to say, no, Jaden. So, <laughs> for example, for example, the, cha- the Chaser Australia, yep. they changed their account to Elon Musk. Okay, sure. Oh, right. To prove the point that, hang on a second, if you're not going to verify someone, anyone can pay $8 to have a blue tick a month sure. and but, say they're anyone. But I think he was more trying to change the style of what the blue tick means. Yes, but when you say things and don't clarify them enough... It goes wild. I think that's the thing. He doesn't clarify shit well. Or people know what he means and they go, oh, but we could misconstrue this into something where it's worse. And then they sort of go, this could be the best. Even though I see the good yeah. thing, I'm just going to promote the bad thing. I think I see a bit of that yeah. too. I, I just think that the whole, like, because I, like, do you remember, do you remember MySpace back in the day? MySpace. Like, there'd be people that would have like celebrity accounts mm. and it was never them, but it's like someone would fall for it. That's how scams work, yeah, right? Yeah, that's how I used to scam people, yeah. So, yeah, it's sweet. So, um, by having an account that literally says, this is definitely Kim Kardashian, everyone knows it's Kim Kardashian. Sure. If anyone can then pay... Te- and this, this is his words. Like, I, 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 like, you can only take what someone says with mm. their words. Yeah. I don't know about misconstruing them, but uh, he, he was like, hey, $8 a month, we won't we won't verify you, because at the moment you got to like prove your ID and all that kind of sure. stuff. Sure. He's like, you won't be verified, and you'll just have an $8 tick against your name. Should we listen to him talking about it? Should we listen to an explanation? Sure. If I we, mean, If we want to cut this, if it's not anything worthwhile, then... I don't know if he's done many interviews, because he's just basically putting stuff out on his Twitter. Yeah, sure. Um, I think he did one, which was like four days ago, maybe. Oh, nice. If you can find it, sure. Um... But yeah, I just find it, I found it funny. And then today he's kind of backflipped and everyone's like, oh, you've realized it hasn't worked well. Wait, backflipped on which one? That you you now will have to be like almost verified. Well, I think he said they're losing $44 million a day, so. Since then or before then? This is an ad. Yeah. This is another ad. It happens. You got sensitive teeth. Oh, we were talking about toothpaste just before, a minute ago. Was that on this podcast we were talking about toothpaste and I just got an ad for toothpaste? It whip, was whip. the last one. We were talking about Halloween. Okay, here we go. The other biggest thing is Twitter blue. I bought a piece of shit. <laughs> yes. Is it them talking about it? Oh, that's, Elon, that's Elon Musk and says it's a piece of shit. Blue. Okay. I bought a piece of shit. <laughs> yes! You get it, oh, you get it like, <laughs> oh, like no, seven your worse. tweets. Uh, it's we worse. Got, we got it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're just talking about it. That's not part of it. Yeah, hey, I still like to do it. Like, somebody's actually writing software and yeah like how is someone writing software and and like <laughs> listening to a set of requirements and not wanting to fucking gouge your eyes out basically you know why <laughs> this doesn't because because like, it, it doesn't crash so somebody wrote code that doesn't crash for nonsense features that like i'm gonna try Twitter blue is like i'm gonna charge you money to make the experience worse <laughs> that should be oh. yeah I, I actually unsubscribed and it took like a month to unsubscribe <laughs> To cancel your internet, you have to submit a cancellation like, request. You can't even do it. Yeah. Wait, so okay. it was already wait, so it was already charging. A hey, thing? Was, so Twitter Blue, I think, was a different thing. That's not the getting the, the tick. What's That's just Twitter like, Blue? Like you could pay to have no ads, you know that kind of stuff. You could pay uh, to have extra features. Yep, sure. Um, that's different from verification. From verification, but he has pulled the pin on the verification thing. 
Kind of, kind of. You okay. still, you still will be able to buy. It. Like you could pay eight dollars a month to get a blue tick. Um, I'll do it. But you will not be able to do fake accounts as once attended. I'll do it if it makes me a goddamn superstar. It won't, because now what's going to happen is yeah, this is what this is what I get to. Tip, Anyone yeah. who's going to get a blue tick will be seen as almost like an idiot that went out of their way to, to look buy. like a fucking superstar. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, why would you do that? I don't know. We'll see what he does with it. I think only time will tell because he's always chopping and changing and I think he's allowed to chop and change. Well, when you buy when, when you buy something, of course you want to improve it in your mind. I think all, just- I'll, all I'll say is that every other time that a website has been brought by an outside party, like for example, Tumblr and MySpace, uh, they kind of went down. Yeah. And can I <laughs> just say maybe it will go down, but what I will say is that it's so funny to me hearing people complain about not liking a guy's character and being like, oh shit, I don't like this guy's vision of a social media platform. Sure. Mm-hmm. But let's look at the these other billionaires who own tech platforms and Correct. own social media companies. Talk about Meta. So I maybe refer to Meta. I maybe refer to Jeff Bezos. I maybe refer to Apple as a whole. Right. And I know you know where they're getting their fucking... These, the fucking... Um, how they're mining the materials for these iPhones. Yes. I know, you know, people are jumping off the fucking buildings and this, these essential sweatshops they're running in China and they have to put suicide yes. nets up around the outside. Yeah. It's so bizarre to me, people holding an iPhone and complaining about, hey, this is, I can't support this. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't support this guy's vision when it's like, hey, dude, all right, you can state that, but don't, you've got to drop the vision of, you've got to admit, okay, I'm willing to, because that's the hot button issue. Musk is the hot button issue. Yeah, like, which is, that's not for me. I don't really, like, honestly, I don't really know much about him. I know, like, I know enough, but it's okay. like, at the same time, it's not like I have this, like, uh, whether people say he has, like, what yeah. do you call, like, a hero complex or whatever. See, I he don't even a, know. He has a bit of an ego problem. Because he wanted sure. to go to space. Yeah, sure. But I think that's a... Which that's 12-year-old a, didn't? Which 10-year-old didn't? But yeah, yeah, sure. 10 anymore. And if you, you know, if you're a smart guy and you can build a rocket and you can get yeah. us there and that's your vision of the future and that's like your vi- vision for yeah. planet B or whatever the fuck then uh Mars yeah Mars yeah yeah sure then uh yeah. do that um but like let's time will tell time will tell I think it's one of those things where time's getting it I just I do think of I think Yahoo was the one that brought Tumblr for like Yahoo? 144 million and they huh. ended up selling it for 12 whoa well, it's like fucking you know what else you know what I'm thinking of now NFTs baby yeah, I don't even. Yeah, once again, I don't even know about NFTs. I'm not up to date on that. You know about NFTs? No, I thought you would have been in the NFT game. I thought you would have been one of the guys <laughs> to spend 1.1 million on an ape. I don't have 1.1 billion to begin with. Mm. What? Do you, can you quickly explain what an NFT is? It's a non-fungible token, and yeah. uh, I guess it's you own the rights to a raw image. It's essential. It's essentially digital artwork. Right. So you own an image. The same way you would own a Mona Lisa, except this is on a computer. Yes. So, it's but then not why are people copy. so into it? Uh, because I guess it's just a display of wealth in the same way di- digital real estate would be on the metaverse. You, you got any digital real estate? You got any no. property in the metaverse? See, I don't have time for this. Okay, well, I yeah, I just bought my first property. I haven't actually invested in physical real estate yet, but I have just invested in digital real estate. And what does that get you? Uh, that gets me a nice house in uh, like in Malibu, but not in real life in the metaverse. I spent about 150k on it, and. Um, I can't go there, but, you know, I put my goggles on and I'm, you know, there and I'm getting a, you know, I'm getting a suck job from a Brazilian model. Right. Who's, who's not, I don't know if she's real or not, but she tells me she is and yes. she, she, what, how she sounds, she sounds like, um, you know, she says things to me like, oh, you can't, um, I want to come, you know, uh, I come over to your Malibu, I come over to your Malibu house, I come to the Malibu house. Yeah. I come to the Malibu house and the Mal- uh, I come to the Malibu, the Malibu house. She just says that on repeat. On repeat. She's still repeatedly robot. and I go, yeah, 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 come, yeah, yeah, come around. The metaverse sounds like what people thought gaming was in the 1990s. Like, so- when people say cyberspace, yeah. that sounds like what the metaverse is. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm probably with you. Yeah, but I, I had no vision of what it would look like until I saw the VR headsets, and then I put a VR headset yes. on, and you know, I got, you know, I got the virtual sock job, and then I <laughs> from the Brazilian lady, and then I went. And then you're like, it's all worth it now. <laughs> <And> I went. <laughs> it's all worth uh, it now. Yeah, me and a few friends, you know, all got together one night, and me and my cousin said, well, you know, what we got to do is, you know, we got to watch porn. And we, right. we sat in a bed. We, we sat in a bedroom, and just he just sat there with his headset on for like ten minutes, going, <laughs> uh, <laughs> with the VR. Yeah, with the VR. On, and what with were you his, guys doing? Goggles on. No, I was just watching him watching porn. Oh, like, okay. And his headset. I didn't have another headset. My brother gifted me a VR headset, and we immediately uh, watched pornography, and it was you know it was fun. Right. 
Right. So you're looking around going, oh, God, I got big guys coming in. <laughs> uh, you, no, no, no. You're the guy. I think I'm the guy. I, is I this in the metaverse? You're going, oh, my God, there's one girl separate? coming in. No, no, no. This is just a VR headset where it's like a, a, a VR video. So right. it's like you're the guy and you can look around and go, oh, my God, there's a girl to my left. There's a girl to my right. Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a girl giving me a sock job. Okay. It's immersive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in Malibu. Oh, baby. All right. <laughs> and this is why Facebook is tanking. <laughs> tanking because you're getting suck jobs. But it's um, see, I didn't even know that this metaverse existed. I think I don't know if you can get a suck job yet on the, in the metaverse. Okay, but um, it's coming. It's the first thing I'm gonna do. But I'm more like I'll I'll tap in when it's like I can get the, I can communicate with someone. I can and I can feel shit. You know what I mean? Like the Black Mirror episode, San, San Junipero. Do you think you're gonna be able to feel anything? Um, well, they gotta. They, that's what they gotta work on. I think Elon Musk was working on that with, and that's the organization I forgot to mention of Elon Musk, which is the Neuralink. Which now he seems to have gone for Twitter as opposed to the Neuralink. He's a busy he was, guy. Which he was testing on monkeys, which is you know, uh, making people able to you know war paraplegic, able to walk again, or okay. um, altering the brains of people with depression because it's a chip they put in your brain, yep. and you can go, whoop, I'm fixed, and I get my hips better, and I can walk again. I'm no longer right. paraplegic. I'm no longer paraplegic. I can talk again. I can speak again. I can walk. Look, Elon Musk is a very busy guy. Maybe that was his thing. He couldn't hack the Neuralink. He couldn't get people to walk again. So he goes, ah, oh, if I can get people to walk in the... Me- <laughs> oh, no, that's fucking Zuckerberg. Wrong if guy. I can get- yeah, Zuckerberg goes, If I can get people to tweet more. Yeah, and now they're lose- both losing a lot of fucking money. <laughs> Elon's losing fucking 400, uh, 44, million, 44 million a day. And yeah. Zuckerberg just lost like billions. I can't remember how much. I, saw- I heard some saying 60 bill. I heard someone saying 700 bill. I don't know. Right. But then what I do know is that... Facebook is now or Meta is cutting half 50% of their employees today. Yes, Jesus yeah, I saw Christ. that. It's almost like I saw that Twitter was doing that. And they're like, oh, we want to cut too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They they're, want to fire people. They're in well. competition. We got to do what Musk's doing. We got yeah. to follow the lead. If they're firing people, we're firing people. If he's if he's doing the paraplegics getting suck jobs, yeah. uh, wanting to make, you know, he wants paraplegics to be able to get that. He wants the option of that. I don't think that was his initial thought, though. Mark Zuckerberg's just... thought of. The paraplegic. No, Mark Zuckerberg's thought of, like, hey, if I beat. Elon to getting paraplegics to walk, yeah, and be able to go to bars and pick mm. up pick up chicks, okay, because this is what it's all about. <laughs> um, then Mark Zuckerberg thinks to himself, "No, no, no! I'll put a virtual headset on people. Yes, eventually, hopefully, allow them to feel that satisfaction. And yes. next thing you know, in a few years' time, people may not be able to physically go to Malibu, but they can, but they can virtually go there right now mm. and um." If someone is, you know, consensual to suck job, who knows? They could be in a beach, you know, and that's why I bought the my digital real estate. Hey, dude, yes. if you wanna, if you wanna, um, I don't know how much you might be able to get a beach, a beach um, shack for like. I think I'm gonna focus on the real world. Mm, mm, mm. Um, as much as I enjoy being on our phones. Yeah, exactly. We do. Yeah. But this is a step. This is a step up. This has been a very tech-heavy uh, extra charge. Yeah, well, it's, it's been... that's why it's called extra charge. I yeah. It's the tech episode. Yeah, we're, 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 the, we're, we're, we're on the engineering front. Yeah. Yeah, and I've learned so much already. Can't I, help him. So. I knew about Tesla. I didn't know about all the rest. Oh, did I just inf- did I educate you? This is an educational podcast. Yes. The other <laughs> one's the comedy podcast. <laughs> The, this one's the. I would say that even the comedy ones are educational too. They are, but this one's more. Um, how do I put it? Tech and uh, you know relationship advice and sex advice for right. the digital age. How to get a? That's going to be the next episode. Hey, well, you should feel good about yourself. You know what they say about like uh, do a little good for everyone each day. You have provided someone some education. Yeah, come to come. What would the ad be? Come to come to Malibu. Do an accent. But you talk about it as accent. if it's Malibu is the only place you can get on there. Yeah, because you've got the beach, the beachfront house, and Charlie Sheen's there, and he sells the joint to the. I think the brother dies. Charlie Sheen dies, and, and the brother. Ashton Kutcher has to move in, and he says, "I'm a billionaire." Yeah, and he bu- and he buys the house, which is funny. It was Ashton Ashton Kutcher in a film played Steve Jobs? I did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Comes full circle. It all comes full circle, and there's some sort of, there's some conspiracy that lies in that. There's some conspiracy there. Well, let's not go into. I, I, I don't know where the conspiracy lies, but no. someone wanted. It all starts with Charlie Sheen, actually. He was getting suck jobs. He was doing a lot of drugs. Right. Musk moves in. Musk starts PayPal. Musk starts Tesla. Then the Big Bang Theory comes along. Elon Musk is on the Big Bang Theory. Yes. This gets him excited. Young about- Sheldon? How are we going to tie Young Sheldon yeah, he, in? Yeah, he wants to help... Ra- um, what's his name? Raja- Rajesh? Raj? <laughs> Raj. To- yeah, he wants to help him not only to speak... Because he can't speak to women, he wants to implant a Neuralink in his brain so Rajesh is able to speak to uh, any w- woman he wants, which yes. he does in the end, but that's not included in the show necessarily. Does Raj have a girlfriend in the end of the show? I don't know. I didn't watch. I didn't watch the end of the show. No. But next thing you know, I do know that 
<clears throat> the so we're seeing the, the the prequel at the moment, which is Young Sheldon. Yes, he's and, young, but he's getting older. Yeah, and the next the um, it's it's like the Better Call Saul or the Breaking Bad sort of trio. How there's Breaking Bad, then there's El Camino the movie, and then there's yeah. So what is the El Camino of the uh, yeah? And world? Then there's fucking Better Call Saul. Oh, yes. the El Camino is the following sequel where it's just Rajesh in a, in a VR headset getting a suck job. Yes, and it'll be only an hour long on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hour- he's in an El Camino. He's in a car. Oh, uh, nice. nice. So. It's so it's so similar but so different. Yeah. Um. So similar but so different. Yes. Yeah. Fuck yeah. What else you got? I feel like that's that's I've been charged. Virtual. I feel like I've been extra charged. Virtual. I feel like I've learned so much. Do you want to do the virtual sock job song with me? No. It just goes three, two, one. Virtual sock jobs. Ready? I'll leave that to you. Three, two, one. Virtual sock jobs. I think I'll leave the song to you. Should I order it? If you want, I don't have the time, man. I always yeah. forget. I always forget in post, anyway. <laughs> oh, it's been that's been. We've been charged. We've been extra charged. Can you um, give me one more V? No, no that, that was that it. Was the last one. That was the only one. I owe you a V. I owe someone in this house a V. That's fine. It's on the house. 